I'm going to read you mostly from my, um, my baby book. It's called The Tradition. I love her. She's a month old. <laughs> Prayer of the backhanded. Not the palm, not the pear tree switch, not the broomstick, nor the closest extension cord, not his braided belt, but God bless the back of my daddy's hand, which holding nothing tightly against me and not wrapped in leather, eliminated the air between itself and my cheek. Make full this dimpled cheek unaware of its unfisted print and forgive my forgetting the love of a hand hungry for reflex a hand that took no thought of its target like hail from a blind sky involuntary fast but brutal in its bruising father I bear the bridge of what might have been a broken nose. I lift to you what was a busted lip. Bless the boy who believes his best beatings lack intention, the mark of the beast. Bring back to life the son who glories in the sin of immediacy, calling it love, God. Save the man whose arm, like an angel's invisible wing, may fly backward in fury whether or not his son stands near. Help me hold in place my blazing jaw as I think to say, excuse me. Labor. I spent what light Saturday sent sweating and learned to cuss cutting grass for women kind enough to say they couldn't tell the damned difference between their mowed lawns and their vacuumed carpets just before handing over a $5 bill rolled tighter than a joint and asking me in to change a few light bulbs. I called those women old because they wouldn't move out of a chair without my help or walk without a hand at the base of their backs. I called them old, and they must have been. They're all dead now, dead, and in the earth I once tended. The loneliest people have the earth to love, and not one friend their own age. Only mothers to baby them, and big sisters to boss them around. Women, you want to please, and pray for the chance to say, please, to, I don't do that kind of work anymore. My job is to look at the childhood I hated and say, I once had something to do with my hands. Four day in the morning. My mother grew morning glories that spilled onto the walkway toward her porch because she was a woman with land who showed as much by giving it color. She told me I could have whatever I worked for. That means she was an American, but she'd say it was because she believed in God. I am ashamed of America and confounded by God. I thank God for my citizenship in spite of the timer set on my life to write these words. I love my mother. I love black women who plant flowers as sheepish as their sons. By the time the blooms unfurl themselves for a few hours of light, the women who tend them are already at work. Blue. I'll never know who started the lie that we are lazy, but I'd love to wake that bastard up at 40 in the morning, toss him in a truck, and drive him under God past every bus stop in America to see all those black folk waiting to go work for whatever they want. A house? A boy to keep the lawn cut? Some color in the yard? My God, we leave things green. <laughs> 